the shower and toilet area of the camper. We almost bought a camper that did not have this. Uh, I am so glad that we end up getting a shower in our camper. I cannot stress that enough. Look how easy it is to set this shower system up. There's just four straps that hold the uh, brace, the uh, bracing system up, and uh, yeah, I, I imagine this is going to probably time out to just about 30 seconds, perhaps, to set this whole shower system up. Uh, I'm telling you, <laughs> you will be so happy that you have a shower in your camper. Uh, so once this thing's set up, uh, this is one of the lights that I've installed is four of those by the way in the camper um, and it's all done set it to go inside all the way is a cassette toilet um, it has a, a hand flush mechanism to it um, and it collects in a tank which is removed from the outside uh, if you have women in your family you will love this for sure so once the shower is set up you look inside and you're good to go uh, it hangs from the top it's got a hot and cold uh, control and this is all it takes right there. Also has a privacy curtain, uh, snaps into place with three snaps. Um, so uh, this will allow whoever's taking a shower to have complete privacy at the, whole, the entire end of the camper. And it extends nearly all the way to the floor. Taking the uh, shower down is even easier to put it up. It's a snap. Actually, it's four snaps. Uh, they just remove, and the frame system uh, tucks right in into the frame, wooden frame uh, of the whole system. Uh, Velcro strap, remove the lid, lid goes down, straighten the blanket, you're done. It's just that easy. Here's a three burner propane stove. Uh, works fantastic of course and some storage area underneath it we keep our silverware obviously and our storage right next to it which is under the, underneath the sink pretty standard there uh, nothing really that fancy here's the refrigerator which is right below that uh, I tell you if you get the right size containers for things you can stack and put uh, more stuff than I ever thought I could in there but standard size refrigerator for uh, pop-up campers. Underneath the couch, uh, I put in installed rails that allows this uh, drawer to come not only all the way out, but even farther than the entire drawer. This thing had only would have come halfway out on the stock rails. There's another little section right there. I put a piece of wood to partition that and the drawer next to it. Use it as our dirty clothes area. This is uh, as you come into the door to the right. Uh, I've not really modified anything in here, but I have found the use of bins, as you can see, to be the best use of that space. This is uh, just to the right of the refrigerator. I have installed two shelves in here. It was just an open area. You can see one shelf there. There's another one up above. Same thing here. I installed the shelf to maximize the storage capacity, and believe me, it sure is used in there. Two drawers, uh, non-modified. On uh, the left hand side of the refrigerator. In this case, for clothes. Now, oh man, I love this. This is the Reflexix. This is custom cut for to fit inside this panel inside the windows. They're very lightweight, very easy to put in. They store very easily. They fold up. I have to tell you, when you install these things and these bunk ends, they allow us to keep. To will keep that bucket so warm in the cold. Uh, they also act as great uh, room darkeners, as you can see as well. Uh, once all three of these, in, before I use these things, the temperature difference on a cold night between the end of that bucket and the cabin, I, it must have varied 15 degrees. I doubt it changes just a couple degrees when these reflexix are installed into these, uh, into these windows. Uh, and, and here again, just illustration, they, they act as great room darkeners if you so desire to. But we've camped at 17 degrees before, and I'm telling you, you will be amazed. This is a slideshow uh, wrapping up uh, this demonstration. Uh, the camper, that air conditioning unit on the top is just right at one year old.
signature of the amplified speaker. This one's underneath the dining room table. The other one located on the opposite end, next to the shower bunk and shelf. The stand, multiple use stand, very lightweight. This is just showing you a storage area underneath one of the dining room seats. It happens to be full shelving. Shelving is one of the best things about this camper. So much. I, don't, I really don't know what I would do with all this stuff if it wasn't for the shelves. Boy, they can hold a lot of weight. And one well, last piece of shelf. This is one that never needs to be removed. This is a, uh, the foam that I cut on one of the beds when I, when I replaced the foam. And there's the antenna. Example of the pop up being set up in its multiple stages. Thank you very much for watching this video.